as you can see, they do stay quite still. You can get those headshots in there. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, my name is Primate and this is another episode of 7 Days to Die where in every episode we are crafting for survival and today we're messing with electric fence posts these ain't turned on at the moment but the spark wire is still there uh, I saw Games for Kicks messing with them and I thought I'd give it a go and basically try and see if we can get some fence posts up and running without them actually being able to get destroyed by the zombies they do take damage when they're active and when they're, when they're actually uh, electrocuting the zombies but as you can see we can't actually see the fence posts themselves so they can't take damage directly from the zombies so this is what I kind of come up with. Underneath here is where the fence posts are, and they go through the blocks, the wires, and they attach the fence posts underneath there. Um, this is in creative mode, and I've left it in creative mode for a reason. So if we can quickly go into fly mode, and just go down here slightly, I wanted to show you how it actually works. So this is the view from underneath. So we've connected the generators down there onto the fences. The fences come across, and attach to the fences behind here. The barbed wire slows them down, so does the electric fence posts, and actually gives them damage as well. So the whole idea is to create a, a huge area, which slows them right down, and hopefully get loads and loads of headshots. So it's the same the whole way around. Same here, and the same here. And let me quickly go inside, and I'll show you why we've built it like that. So down here, we've got quarter blocks, so we can actually repair as and when the electric fence posts become damaged because they will take damage when electrocuting the zombies so that's why they're open down here and we can repair just a few um, uh, a few open areas so we can repair all of them if we head back to the top this is where we'll be during the horde night we'll be sitting up here with probably the hunting rifle or the pistol I don't want to get too many OP weapons for this I'm guessing they'll come from this area. I did build, build in an alcove, so they may come from there, but not from here. So possibly over there, but if not, definitely over here. They won't really come from anywhere else. The idea is I run through here. They get caught on the barbed wire and electric fence posts. We'll, we'll, we'll see how they work. I have tested on the seven day horde, but not on the 35. So I'm going to fast forward to 10 o'clock, let them come, and we'll see how the base holds up. Okay, so we're about to take on the horde. There's an hour in game left. I'm just going to throw on the generators. There's four number. They power each corner. It takes 70 watts. I think there's eight number on each. So four times 70 watts is the total power required. And this is how we get to the top. Close the hatch. I've painted all this. All in metal paint. So they'll either come from here. Or they'll come from back here. I'm guessing, I have tested this once before, but not with this many uh, this many fence posts. They should come from this area. That's what I'm hoping. So let's see how it goes. What we'll do is we'll turn off debug mode. And we'll turn off the cheat menu. Oh, the cheat menu is now off. So we're now as a standard character. No cheating, no god mode, no flying. Literally nothing at all. As for armor. Uh, a few basic bits and pieces. It's the kind of stuff you can you can gather and craft by this point. A few things to eat and drink. We'll grab some of that now. Can't eat that. I'll take one of these just in case. Now after this, I'm going to create another video, and that'll be coming out tomorrow. And it'll be for your first seven days, the easiest, cheapest, quickest seven day base you've probably seen on any channel in any video. Um, so I'll do that next and that'll be up tomorrow. That'll be dropping at 4 o'clock, so keep an eye out for that. But let's take on his 35 day horde. And let's pray they come from this area here. Let me know if you see any. Mm, no. Yeah? Ah, they did come from here. Fantastic. Let's bring them over. They should stop. Oh, terrible. And once they stop moving, it's shot. And this guy stops moving. Headshot. Okay, he's probably not the best gun for this. Let's give this one a go. As you can see, they do stay quite still. You can get those headshots in there. I'm not sure if there's enough uh, fence posts though.
as soon as we hear some more electrics, we'll head back and uh, go for that slow headshot. There we go. You're not hitting? You're not. There we go. Bang. Bang. It doesn't work out too bad when they actually hit the uh, the electrics. But they get through too quickly, so maybe two or three of these would work out pretty well, actually. That might be what we do next for the 70 day board, is get two or three of these waves on the go. All with electrics going the whole way through. Let's see if that works out a little bit better. Oh, got myself there. Hmm, might be a better idea to uh, pull out the AK actually. Oh, doggy. Yeah, complete stop time as well, see? Not bad. Look, sir. Goodbye, sir. Oh, Vulture. Yeah, you're down. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I suppose you've got an SMG or an AK. This face does work out pretty well. Wasn't so good with the uh, hunting rifle. But it's just too slow a shot. But once they do, yeah, anyway, once you do hit them, they do, they do stop there still. I think doing pretty okay here. Yeah? Not a bad little base so far. What we will do, we get a couple more down. And then we'll go down and check how much damage the uh, defenses have taken. Let's do that now, actually. Let's go and have a look. Oh. Have a check. So if we go to the fences, uh, yeah, so need a bit of repair. See, so they've been a little bit damaged, not too much. And some are, some aren't. That's more this side, isn't it? Oh, so I, yeah, we've lost a couple of. I oh, know, yeah, we lost one or two fences there, I think. Well, not too bad. We're taking a little bit of damage. I suppose you've got two people, one can repair whilst one shoots. Not too bad. I need more small bolts here. The good thing about these bolts is again they don't destroy the barbed wire and they don't destroy the uh, destroy the electrics either. Trying to get those headshots but those seem to be working. No radiators as of yet. We are on a 62 number horde. I'd like to keep the hordes nice and large just to really put the bases through, uh, through the paces. Let's see if we can drag them around here. Get them. Get them. Why are you not moving? There we go. Soaks up bullets this one, don't it? There we go. Reload. Say some of the 7-2 ammo. It's like wood in a real game. Tons of bodies. See, so yeah, another good thing about this base is it does float the bodies. If you look down there, they float over the wires, they float over the barbed wires. Which isn't too bad. So we could probably actually turn the uh, we could probably turn the um, fences off now, I suppose. Let's have a little look. Dead. Hmm. Oops, a daisy. Okay, let's go and turn these fences off. Just to save on the fuel and the drainage of them. So let's turn you off. Turn you off. Turn you off. Turn you off. There we go. Oh, is that a straggler? Guessing a straggler. Can't see any there. Hmm. Come on, where are you? You hide under the bodies. You are not. Where the hell are you? Yeah, it's got to that point where it's just trickler zombies now, I think, which gets quite boring. Oh. I can hear you, but I cannot see you, my friend. 
If you can hear my baby crying in the background, <laughs> I do have a 10 month old that's just woken up, so apologies. My girlfriend is dealing with her, she's not being left by herself. <laughs> Gosh, you can actually hear the crying now. Uh, I think, I think, I think. I'll wipe down a beer. And we're going to find this guy. I hit this other check. We can. We can actually jump over here. Whoop. Let's go and find him and see what's going on. I'm guessing they're probably just stuck or a crawler. This way? Yeah. Hello, sir. Bye, sir. Yeah, I suppose a few lights, maybe a couple of turrets even, and turrets facing each way, and it would slow them down. And if there's a turret facing it, it would just give them headshots each and every time, wouldn't it? So that wouldn't work out too bad, actually. So I think I'll, uh, for the next, mm, yeah, for the next horde here, I'll probably want a seventh day horde, and I may have a turret, probably just a shotgun turret, because that, that's more designed to slow them down, I suppose, to kill them. Hopefully the shotgun turret, plus the barbed wire, plus the fence post, will just basically keep them on this line here, or, or this line, or this line, depends where they come from. And then we can get those headshots that we're looking for, because uh, you get great XP from, from killing the zombies with headshots. Yeah, this is the body. This is the horde. Not too bad. It's gone very quiet. There's there's no point sticking around. You know, I don't like you watching around for no reason. So, uh, okay. We'll probably end the video here. But if you liked this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, it does really help out the channel. So I'm trying to find this guy before I go. Where is he? Let's listen for him. Shan over here. Oh, you sounded like you're over here, but I cannot see you. No. Okay, if you like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.